Okay, everybody, we're looking ahead to the Orange and Notre Dame this Saturday in the Dome. Kayvon Darton, the Orange's defensive tackle, is with us. And my man, uh, you've got an interesting story and, and fun to get into uh, this week in particular. A couple of people on this flight and watching the Clemson game. Man, I've never seen somebody hang in there in difficult circumstances like uh, number 45. How's it going for you so far? You're clearly an undersized for your position, but yeah. uh, battling it out. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm doing good. Uh, you know, it was a tough fought game for us. You know, the game plan came out was running the ball, and we, we knew that at the start that it was going to be a tough game. But, you know, we didn't really like the outcome, but it's on to the next one. You know, Notre Dame's next. Your position in particular is so thankless. I know you know that going into it. Defensive tackle, you don't get stats. Your job is just to gum up the works <laughs> a little bit. But you're also typically in a rotation, and the defensive line rotation has been a little shorter this year for, for a number of reasons. So how you holding up, uh, given all that considered? Uh, given all that considered, uh, our D-line's holding up pretty good, yeah. actually. So yeah. we're feeling healthy. We know everybody's at practice. Everyone's practicing. So it's really, it's just, no, you know, everybody gets a little sore after the game, but that stuff's all worked out. We've been doing workouts and having lifts and stuff, so we feel good. That's why you do it, right? Yeah, that's exactly. We've been doing, you know, stretching and all that. Sure. So for you, uh, things got kicked up a notch in this room here a couple of months ago. Start a training camp and uh, in the, the football auditorium. You can take us through it, but uh, getting put on scholarship uh, has to be a, a major thrill. Yeah, it was great. You know, I've been here uh, the past three years, so, you know, there's a lot of hard work that came with it, you know, and I was waiting for it, waiting for it. I know I knew I had to be patient a little before, it, even though, you know, I felt like I deserved the scholarship, but, you know, eventually that came. Sure. What kind of rush is that, and uh, how did your family and friends enjoy hearing about it? Oh, my fans loved it. You know, at the start when you first hear it, it's like, you know, you got it, but, you know, it comes on early, you know, you've got a scholarship and everything, you got to worry about anything else. Yeah. And the rest is about taking uh, care of your opportunity in the classroom and, and, and being out here to play. And by the way, early August, there was no guarantee you were going to see significant yeah. uh, minutes or rotation and snaps uh, at the defensive tackle position. Has this exceeded your expectations in terms of playing time so far? Uh, I, I, I knew we were, I was going to get a good 30 at least because okay. it was between me and um, Terry Lockett and switching in there again, getting, getting plays. But, you know, he went down, you know, I had to step up and – Play more plays. This particular game, the play count, and Coach Babers always stares right at the play count uh, the first time he gets a box score in his hand after the game. Syracuse had 54 plays offensively, and Clemson, I want to say, was in the 80s. They had about 35 minutes uh, time of possession. And did you sense that on a? It wasn't uh, super hot, but it was uh, outdoors and that, that kind of thing. Yeah, it was a little warm out there. It was nothing that we couldn't handle. You know, every game we we come in and expect them playing a lot of plays, so we kind of used to it. You know, kind of used to playing in the fire. Sure. All right, uh, people might know out there about that story with the walk-on becoming, uh, getting on the, the field, and uh, it's a Rudy story, and it happens to be Notre Dame coming in uh, this weekend. And, uh, you know, there's some parallels, right? If you, if yeah. you show up at a Division I school without a scholarship, uh, you're kind of trying to follow that path a bit. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, it's just great to be a walk-on and finally get that um opportunity to get a scholarship. Yeah, yeah. You know? doesn't happen very regularly uh, here at Syracuse. What does it mean to take on the Irish? I Me, mean, a great school. I have a great tradition. I have a great culture. I know I have a great past. So it's everything we're gonna play. Like it's our last game of the year. You know, every game that we like we play. Last thing for you, Kayvon, was the idea of I know Sunday was important, putting away the first loss of the season. Well, what kind of process was that from your perspective, and and what's the most important thing uh, to kind of set the tone for this week? You know, for me, uh, it was just really uh, after watching the film and um, learning what mistakes we did wrong it, after that it was kind of putting that away and heading on to Notre Dame and focusing on what their O-line does and how they run the ball. Notre Dame's always had a good uh, ground game and offensive line and you're going into your third straight sellout is that cool or what? That's amazing you know it, it's exciting to see everybody yeah. out in the stands cheering for you so let's get it done this week again. All right Kayvon uh, little man who has a big role and uh, and doing some stuff there on the field exciting to see uh, your progress hope uh, for continued success for you okay best of luck. Thank you. That's uh, Kayvon Darton he and the Orange take on Notre Dame in the Dome this Saturday.